Uh, this is a typical Ferris wheel problem where we need to write sin sinusoidal equation and plot it on the graph uh, uh, to model the ride on Ferris wheel. So we have a Ferris wheel with 12 feet stairs, um, 50 feet radius. We start from the bottom at time zero and go up. At 80 seconds, we're at the top. At 40 seconds and 120 seconds, we're in the middle and 160 seconds, we return to the bottom. They will make one full revol uh, revolution. How to plot this graph? Uh, uh, Y-axis will be height and fit. X-axis will be time in seconds. Uh, we start at 12 feet and go to the top, which is 112 feet. In the middle, we are at 50 plus 12 feet, which is 62 feet. This is 62 feet. So uh, at time uh, zero, we're at the bottom. Uh, one full revolution is 160 seconds. It's a period. 80 seconds and 120 seconds and 40 seconds it's here so are we at the bottom at zero seconds and 160 seconds we're at the top at 80 seconds and we're in the middle 40 and 120 seconds the graph will look like this so we start from here and we go to the same, uh, this will be the second period. So it's one full revolution. Where the central line of this function? So it's apparently goes through 62 feet. So it's shifted up by 62. So now we uh, it looks like a normal cosine function, but it's inverted because cosine function look like this. So it goes through the center. So in our case, it's inverted cosine. So from the bottom, it goes to the top, crossing the middle line in 80 seconds. And then it goes down, crossing the middle by 160 seconds. So it looks like it's a, a normal cosine function, but it is inverted. Flipped across the central line. So um, how to write an equation? Uh, the equation will usually look like this. Y is equal amplitude cosine or sine function. We write cosine frequency times x. In our case is t. It may be shifted left or right by pi uh, by by pi, for instance. And it also can be shifted up by b. So what is an amplitude? Amplitude in this case, this is an amplitude. And apparently, it's 50. So in our case, amplitude is 50. What is the frequency in case of sine or cosine function? It would be 2 pi 
divided by period. And period is 160 seconds. So which would be pi divided by 80. Uh, what is the vertical shift? In our case, it's 62 units, 62 feet, which look like this. I apologize for this mess. In our case, it's 62 feet. Uh, so shift B will be 62. Uh, is there any uh, horizontal shift? No, it looks like in this case there is no any horizontal shift. It's just uh, located across um, Y axis. Uh, and we can write an equation Y equal flipped cosine function minus amplitude 50 uh, cosine frequency pi divided by 80 times t. No horizontal shift, but there is a vertical shift by 62 units. Let's imagine we want to write it as sine function. And sine function look like this. So it goes through, the, through zero. In this case, we have to imagine that the vertical uh, y-axis is located here. It's imaginary axis. So it means it shifted right by 40 units. So uh, in this case, the equation will look like this. So it's not inverse sine function. So amplitude 50 sine pi divided by 80, which is frequency, times t. But here we see horizontal shift, right? And we have to remember that if we are shifting right, it's counterintuitive. It means we have to subtract 40 units. And there is a vertical shift by 62. Thank you.